Right, here we go, and this is a look at the Astra Militarum. Um, my idea behind this army was that I really love the sort of desert storm, you know, the Africa Corps, all that kind of colour scheme, which is, you know, translates to the Talon Regiment, really. Um, so that was my idea when I started these guys a while ago. Not all of them are fully finished. There's some bases need done. You can see some green bases down there that need redone. Um, but this is where I'm at. So we'll start in the back. You can have a look at some of these. So there's obviously the Bane Blade variants and the Shadow Sword. Um, this guy moves out as well. You know, still got the guns that you can change over. And obviously the Basilisk, the heavy support, the Manticores. Run into the tanks, the Lehman Rust tanks, the tank commanders. And down, I've just put these in groups of things, and we'll see there's snipers, guys. They're just crew from the vendettas and stuff that I've been over here. I might redo them at some point in the future. Obviously, we've got the commissars. Yarrick and down into the Scions yeah most of these are done, not all fully done though and some medics the squad of sergeants here or whatever, these are the veterans, the four dual ones with the shotguns again you can see the bases aren't quite done on them and then a big selection of obviously all the special <laughs> weapons. The thing with God is obviously all the different codex editions. You know, different weapons are obviously more effective and stuff like that. So you want to get different ones in there. You know, your options change. You could combine squads and stuff like that. Now you can't. So there's the things. I like the Cadian look troops as well, which is why I've got them. I think the suit would look for a desert army. And um, they're the ones that need to be rebased. So I'll come down and give you a closer look at the command squads there. That's the guy on the left comes with a Bane Blade kit. Move along. There's Creed himself. Didn't match my sort of colour scheme though. And then we've got Sergeant Hawker. Who oh, I love. I love that model. I've also given him a tattoo on the back because he loves the Imperium so much he's got himself a tattoo and then strap in um, I know my sort of colour schemes tell on but I just love these characters and the idea of them so there's a bit of thingy on them there so I'll give you a look at them so what I might do, I might run them as Catachan sometimes Right. So yeah, I like the idea of these guys. I love the sort of the fluff and stuff around them, and the fact that these are like proper rough Arnold Schwarzenegger type commanders. So that's the ones I like there. And then obviously coming around, here's some selection of Vox cast guys into the assassins. The Imperial Assassins, so obviously the Calexus. And these guys aren't GW, I think they're Infinity models, but I just love them. And the idea, like I said, Assassins should hunt in packs. I quite like the idea that they're a sort of triangulated team of brother and sister. And then obviously the squad leader. I've got some Rattlins. And some Ogrins. That's the... Look, I haven't run these guys yet in 8th, I probably would run them with slab shields and the mauls to be fair. And then we just got a load of heavy weapon teams. As you can see the bases aren't fully finished on them yet. Most of them are done though. Into the Chimera tanks, and a couple of scout sentinels. And then a couple of flyers, obviously that one there has got the Punisher cannons. So it'll be running as a vulture. And that one, I haven't got the official Vendetta kit yet, but I prefer probably to run it as a Vendetta over anything else. But like I said, the idea was I just totally loved the 
Africa Cope scheme and obviously the Talon, the Desert Raiders. So that's the thinking behind this army. Yeah, so like a good mix of tanks and obviously a good load of troops as well. So yeah, that's what I'm busy with at the minute.